this is a Sting Greenlight trailer for Level 99. That's LVL99. Level 99 is how I choose to say it. So, it's always a good first impression when there are icons on the screen that obviously look like they're part of a touchscreen device. I, I can actually tell you right now that Level 99 is indeed a mobile port. It's available right now on Google Play if you're interested, if this scintillates you, tantalizes you. This uh, trek through a cave here. And there's a spider. Look at that. That's a spooky, scary spider. It's probably gonna... Oh, oh. What on earth is happening? Also, is is the cave made out of plastic? I feel like the cave's made out of plastic. I have no idea what happened. What? Uh, that seems to have been a, a sudden cut. What they do... <laughs> Sorry, what? What? What the fuck is this? Now, regular viewers may know that often I'll watch like the beginning of a video, see that it's got the potential, and then just start recording um, after I um, obtain it, so that I can be surprised by what comes next. So, that was new to me, all of this is new to me, this, this intense combat that we're seeing here, as this person tries to pick up a stone that has all of the sense of weight of a piece of polystyrene, and they're just kind of bowling it casually at this spider's head <laughs> until it knocks him over <laughs> oh no but seriously this oh this frame rate struggle in there for totes reels is though uh this this certainly looks like uh, an intense encounter with one of nature's most feared uh species of course arachnophobia is a very common fear um you know, many people, I've known many people in my life to be scared of spiders. I'm not particularly fond of them myself. I, I wouldn't say I've got arachnophobia, but I wouldn't want to touch one with my bare hands. You know, I can see one in the room and be more or less okay with it. Um, you know, I won't panic at the sight of a spider. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of killing spiders in general, um, but I'm certainly not fond of them. So I can certainly understand arachnophobia, you know. So, apologies if you have a, a fear of spiders, and this is upsetting to you, because as I say, it is very intense. I, I seriously have no fucking clue what's happening. Is, has, the, has the player died and respawned multiple times at this point? What's the yellow thing that's happening? Is that, is that the spider trying to shoot a web or a laser? It's, is it a zoid? Is the spider a zoid or not? Because I'd be into this if it was. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Oh, hang on. Got a nice, good, juicy close-up of the spider. There. And and we're on the plastic. Oh, no, back up. Very hard to commentate this. If this were an eSports game... Uh, sorry, I made myself laugh then. If this were, were an eSports game, I don't feel that the commentary commentators could really follow what's going on. I mean, I've seen... Very skilled individuals give play-by-play -play of, you know, your Smash Brothers, your Street Fighters, your Marvels versus your Capcom. Oh, the spider's done! Oh, what an unceremonious end. Just the sudden cut the music, spider dead. End of story. End of trailer. Description. A game for battling high-level creatures. The first in the series, a relentless cave spider. Wait, uh, wait what? Did, did that... Did that trailer just show us the entire game? It, is that what happened? The first in a series, a relentless cave spider. A game for battling high level creep. Is that it? Did you just do a spider? Why do, sorry, wh why do we need to play the game when we've just seen all of it? That makes no sense. None of this makes sense. The developer's name is Practicing01, which I'm assuming is a reference to what they're actually doing as well. And I'm not being snarky about that, I mean, I, I literally feel the developer is practicing, this is a practice project. Which, you know what, 
for a first gozies practice project, that's all right. Don't sell it to people. It's that's not sales worthy. It's certainly not steam worthy. That does not belong. Your practice projects, right, do not belong on Steam. Now, that may be me coming off as a gatekeeper, as as a censor, as, as a whatever you want to call it, right? But if you're fucking around for practice, you've not made a product to sell. Some people can actually make a very first game and have it be really, really good. Um, but if you've got to call yourself practicing 01 to justify what you're doing, you know that what you've done isn't isn't that good, isn't good enough, you know? And it's bad enough when I go on Itch.io to uh, see, because it's available right now on Itch.io and, of course, Google Play. Um, and I see it, you know, where there are some really good games on Itch.io that you can play for free. And this is a mandatory 99 cents. So we can't even play it on Itch.io for free. Which, again, if you've made a dick around practice game where you just lob a rock at a spider, it, it should be free. It should be free. I mean, you know, far be it for me to tell you how to do your job. But... But someone's got to. 